U.S. forces targeted and killed one of the most powerful military leaders in the Islamic Republic in a swift airstrike on Baghdad early Friday. And for more, here's One America's Chanel Rion with a report from the White House. U.S. forces targeted and killed Qassam Soleimani early Friday in Baghdad. Soleimani was the most powerful military leader of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, an Iranian general responsible for directing Iran's proxy fighters in the Middle East. This airstrike comes at the heels of a tumultuous week at the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad. The embassy had been under siege by Iranian-backed militias, and the Trump administration immediately sent military reinforcements and ultimately secured the embassy. The significance of Soleimani's death not only impacts the region, but is, in a way, vengeance for the fallen. President Trump tweeted, General Qassam Soleimani has killed or badly wounded thousands of Americans over an extended period of time and was plotting to kill many more, but got caught. He was directly and indirectly responsible for the death of millions of people. The Friday airstrike was designed to disrupt ongoing plans to harm more civilians and Americans, according to NSA Ambassador Robert O'Brien. Yet, Democrats and some in the media have expressed outrage at the killing. Democrat Congresswoman Ilhan Omar tweets, We are outraged. The president the president would assassinate a foreign official, notably using the exact language as the Iranian regime in describing this incident as an assassination. While Iran has issued a formal complaint against the U.S. to the U.N., Omar has pledged to fight the president, calling his actions unconstitutional. National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien states it was a fully authorized action under the 2002 AUMF and was consistent with his constitutional authority. In reaction to Soleimani's death, Iran has vowed to retaliate. This coming from the Iran Security Council announcing it had reached a decision for a retaliation plan against the U.S. We do not know at this time what that decision entails. Meanwhile, the U.S. Capitol has reportedly upgraded security since the airstrikes, due to what some say is a notable Iranian presence in Washington, D.C. Soleimani's death is considered both victory and vindication for those oppressed by the Iranian regime in the region. President Trump conveyed his resolve that the U.S. is prepared to go to war with Iran if necessary, but made clear, we are not initiating a war with Iran, but we can and will finish them off if we need to. We took action last night to stop a war. We did not take action to start a war. I have deep respect for the Iranian people. They are a remarkable people with an incredible heritage and unlimited potential. We do not seek regime change. However, the Iranian regime's aggression in the region, including the use of proxy fighters to destabilize its neighbors, must end, and it must end now. Notable language coming also from Secretary of Defense Mark Esper, who said on the eve of the killing, the game has changed and we're prepared to do what is necessary to defend our personnel and our interests and our partners in the region. Chanel Rion, One America News. The White House. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.